I want to introduce you to my new friend, my future real estate investing partner, okay? My name is Trenton Mick, and I have the dream to own a duplex one day, and I wanted to start from there and work my way up. We've never met before about 40 minutes ago, no, right? No, sir. So about tell them, I'm, I'm, in, I'm at uh, the Starbucks. He walks up to the window of my car. My daughter's inside, and you walked up and said what to me? I said, hello, Grant Cardone. My name is Trenton Mick. I'm 14, and I had a question about underwriting because it went completely over my head. How many of you have a question about underwriting? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have Trenton underwrite a deal for us right now, okay? Right. We're, we're gonna make up the deal, okay? This is, this is fantasy real estate. <laughs> Just say four units. Okay, you wanna do four units? Yes, sir. So man, he's upgrading himself already. Gets around me, I 2 x him just being in his presence. Look, these rents are gonna be, let's do $1,000 a month. You're not gonna be able to rent anything for, so what I'm doing is, is, is what do I need to know to underwrite a deal? I don't know anything about the deal. All I know is how many units there are. And then I plug in the rent, and then I know there's $4,000 a month. So look, we're gonna go 12 months here. That's $48,000 a year. Mm -hmm. Now you, your mom, and your dad are probably gonna manage this place. $48,000 a year in income, right? Now, what are the expenses of this property gonna be? Taxes are gonna be the number one. I got taxes, I got electrical, I got insurance, gas, water. Let's say the cost to operate this thing is 40%. So I'm gonna call somebody that does four units in this Houston market, Trenton, and I'm gonna say, hey, what do you think I can operate this thing for? And he's gonna be like, oh man, you can operate this thing for about 40%. What we're gonna do is we're gonna flip it. I don't really need to know what the 40% is. All I'm concerned about is the 60. So I'm just gonna skip this part right here. Give me 60% of 48,000. 28,800. Okay. So that is what the NOI is. This is the number that I need to get to to determine what I can pay for this property. I'm gonna take this NOI number, $28,800, and then I'm gonna start figuring out what I want from this deal, okay? For you guys that want a 6% return, this is your cap rate. Cap rate is a fancy word for how much does he want to earn on this deal? Can you guys calculate what he can pay for this deal to ensure that he gets a 6% return? 28,000, do this, take that number, divide, by 0 0.06. And that says I can pay four, $480,000 for that deal. Okay, which is $120,000 a unit. This guy will actually make a bunch of money on this deal at $120,000 a unit in that little town he was talking about. So I might be overpaying for that deal, okay? So the so first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this price, 6% return, I can pay $480,000. When I see that number, the first thing I do in my underwriting is divide by the number of units. This is just a little check. You don't have to do this. 1,200. Yeah, 12, uh, 120,000. 120,000. So now that's $120,000 a unit. I'm gonna go back to find out when the last time this guy bought it, I'm gonna call my buddy Robert up and say, hey Robert, what does the, uh, the report say, uh, co-star say about when this guy bought it? This guy bought this in 1980 and two and paid 20 grand a unit. He's about to make a bunch of money, but so am I, by the way. I'm cool. I don't care if he's making a bunch of money on it, guys. You guys understand? You wanna write this down. You want your seller to make money on you. There's nothing wrong with them making a bunch of money. I don't care, man. I don't care. I just want to know I can make money on this deal. So let's say he's going to go to him and say, look, man, I'm a, I, can, I can pay you $480,000 a unit on this deal. I know you bought this deal in 1982. You guys paid 20 grand for it. Would you be willing to make 100000 a door? You understand what I just did? Yes, sir. Okay, so, so, so this, this, how did I come to this number, do you know? You can tell me what to write. I got, how many units do we have? Four units. Four units, okay. What is the rent on the four units? Mm, $1,000. That's right. We looked at it, we said, man, we called the place up and they said, hey, the rents are $1,000, but ain't nobody, there's never a vacancy. You called over there and they're like, never a vacancy. Tara's gonna leave the property when you buy it and you're probably gonna move these rents 200 bucks. And they're probably gonna stay there for another 200. Because their next choice is to go to two grand a month. 
Okay? So how much is that a month? Four thousand. Four thousand dollars a month, okay? Now I'm not gonna keep this for one month, so we're gonna go ahead and find out what it's gonna make me in a year. Per year. So I multiply this times what? Twelve. Twelve. Man, you're getting good at this, dog. Okay. How much is that? Twelve times four thousand. Forty eight. Forty Forty eight thousand, okay? Forty eight thousand dollars, okay? Boom. That's my gross income. Everybody with me? GI. Gross income, total rental income. Look, I'm gonna tell you that the expenses on this property are 40%. Okay. Okay, I gave you guys that little, little cheat. How many of you like this little, okay, I don't need to use the 40. What am I gonna use? The difference to figure out my income. Okay, so you could do the 40%, right? 40% of $48,000 is what? 19,200 bucks. Is that right? I think it's right. Do 48,000 either minus 19.2 or do the quickie version, 48,000 times 0. 0.6. 20, Not 000. 0.6, 0. 0.6. <laughs> 28,800. Same number I came up with last time, 28,800. Now that number represent what? Net operating income. Okay, so he's gonna go to the guy, he's gonna go to his dad and say, Dad, if I can find something, can we do a deal? Dad says, I'll fund the deal. He finds Robert is a seller on the deal. I want you to divide this number by 14, point 14, rather than a 10, or a 6. 205,714. So if we go for a 14 cap, how much? $205,000.74. He just underwrote that deal and said, I can pay $205,000. I want you to divide the number 28,800 by 0.10. That's a 10 cap. You said 28,000 divided. 800, this number right here, divide it by uh, uh, 10, 0.10. 288, okay? Divided by, I want you to divide it by 08. That's an eight cap. An eight cap. When they say an eight cap, it's 0 .08. You just go divide that $28,800 by 0 .08. $360,000, okay? All right? Everybody with me? If I do 0 .06, what am I gonna come up with? The number that we did a few minutes ago, $480,000, okay? Now, here's my little guy right here, never bought a piece of real estate before, and he now knows, one, I can pay 205 and get 14% of my money. I can pay 288 and get 10% of my money. I can pay 360 and get 8% return. I can pay 480,000. He don't give a shit. He ain't got any money. Any of these work for him. Everybody agree? Now, this is where you become an investor. Because what you need to do is find the difference between what you can pay for this deal and what you can get someone else to accept on this deal is where you make your money, okay? So if you can get this deal at a 14 cap, I'm good at 360 because 3% pays him an 8% return, right? Everybody with me? I'm gonna show you a couple different ways to slice this deal. And the kid, the kid negotiates the deal at 205. And by the way, Robert might sell the deal for 205, Okay, because he's $40,000, what is that a door? That's $50,000 a door. What did Robert pay for the deal? Y'all remember the first story? 20. So he's making two and a half times on his money. All right, like there's not gonna be a bunch of money made here. See, the guy's either gonna make a couple hundred grand on the deal or he's gonna make, you know, 80,000 bucks on the deal. I don't have to pay this, I don't get it for cheap. Okay, I'm at 350. He negotiates the deal to $350,000. $350,000, I got four units. How much is that a door? $87,500. $87,500, okay? So I know I'm, I'm in the money here. Now I'm gonna go to get a loan on this deal. Remember my NOI? Everybody remember my NOI? Do 20,000, 20,000 times 1.25. Remember that DCR? 1.5? 1.25. All right. Yeah, good. So, so I know this deal can handle at least $20,000 worth of debt. Take 28,800 divided by 1.25. I can handle $25,000 worth of debt on this deal, principal and interest. That tells me the max amount of principal and interest this deal can fund. Because I'm gonna take his dad's returns, rather than taking 200 and $80,000 from his dad. I'm gonna show his dad how to get a loan on the deal and take his returns from eight or 9% to 12 or 14%.
And so that he can do this 10 times and end up with 40 units rather than four. So we're paying 350 for the deal. Okay, 25,000. So divide that number by 0 0.0625. I could borrow 400 grand. That's true. I, I, I don't need 400 grand, okay? Okay, we're gonna put 50 grand down. We're gonna finance $300,000. I need to figure out what the principal and interest is, is on $300,000. The loan's probably gonna be, can I get money at 5% on this deal? Five and a half, okay, five and a half. So I want you to multiply this number times 0 0.07. It's $21,000. What was my NOI again? $28,800, and I don't have a rent increase yet. Okay, now I want you to take the 7,000 and I want you to divide by the money that your dad put down. Seven, oh, 7,800, sorry, sorry, 7,880 divided by 50,000. 15.76% return. I told you I'd get to a 14. We're gonna increase the cash flow. The current cash flow is $7,000 a, a year, which is 15.76% return. Now, we're gonna raise these rents 200 bucks. How many units we got? Four. Four. How much is that? 800. 800 times 12. 9,600. I'm going to increase my cash flow. I'm going to double my cash flow with a $200 rent bump. You guys online right now, I hope you guys are tracking this information. This is simple. This is a 14-year-old kid doing this. How much is that? 16,600. $16,600. How much money did his dad put down in this deal? Divide that 16,600 by the 50,000 pops put down. 332. 333.2% return on your money. Yeah, anybody can do this, folks. Okay, thank you, man. Appreciate you, okay? Okay, let's go. Get your dad to show you that bag, son.